Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you have tuned into this channel all over the world. Welcome to Verdict TV. The news updates. DSS finally bows to pressure as Unam Dikano begins medical treatment. Welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this news. But please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please carefully listen to the end. In the recent developments, Unam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, IPOP, pardon, has commenced the first round of his independent medical examinations. This positive news was revealed by his special counsel, Haloy Ejimako, who visited Kanu at the Department of State Services, DSS facility, despite his ongoing tra- travels. Kanu remains on up- up- upbeat and hopeful for the next round of medical evaluations. For the past few months, Kanu's legal team has been advocating for independent medical attention for the IPOB leader. They have accused the DSS of injuring the presence of independent doctors to attend to Kanu's medical needs. However, Ejimako's recent visit brings a glimmer of hope for Kanu's supporters and well wishes. In another related development, Unamde Kanu has taken a firm stance against the recurring seat at home exercise in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Speaking through one of his lawyers, Mike Ozekome, Kanu expressed his disapproval of the practice and called for an end to it. The video of his statement was shared by Dan Umome, the, spe- the senior special assistant to Governor Peter Umba of Enugu State. Kanu vehemently asserted that he does not believe in the sit at home protests as he finds it counterproductive. He argued that shutting down the economy through such actions only arms the very people he is fighting for. Kanu empathized with the citizens who have been adversely affected by the sit-at-home exercises, highlighting the negative impacts on their social, economic, cultural, and political life. The hyper leader expressed concern over the psychological, physical, and mental strain it has placed on the people. According to Oze Kome, as Kanu's lead counsel, the hyper leader wishes to be released to address the public through a world press conference. In this conference, it plans to encourage to the people to return to their normal daily activities and refrain from staying at home on Mondays. Kanu cited biblical teachings, emphasizing the importance of labor and how it is tied to blessings for the fruits of one's work. It is important to note the significance, the significance of this development. Unam Dekanu's independent medicals represent a step towards ensuring his well-being and access to appropriate health care. This could be a crucial factor in his ongoing legal battles and the eventual resolution of his case. On the, on the other hand, Kanu's call for an end to the sit at home protests raises important questions about the effectiveness of such measures as a form of protest, the impact on the reg- re- regional economy and the everyday lives of citizens must be considered in the broader conversation about advocating for political and social change. It is worth noting that um, the case of Mazi Unamdi 
and a statement are likely to spark discussions and debates among various groups, including its supporters, the critics, and also the broader public. So, um, Mazo Namdekano, who is the leader of the IPOP, has recently gotten a go ahead from the courts that his medical attention can now he can now have his own personal medical practitioners to check up on him and take care of his health because he has been complaining about health issues and the DSS did not give him the permission to bring in his own medical practitioners. But now his medical attention is being taken care of by his own people. And also he has called to end the sit at home protests pres- present a, a unique and complex situation. Now the is calling for the end of sit at home protests. And as the situation unfolds, it is important for the public to stay informed and engage in the dialogue surrounding these events. Because Mazo Namdekanu is also asking that they should give him the opportunity to address the public through a world press conference, believing that once he is being heard, the high pop members will be able to keep calm when they hear what he has to say. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view to this news? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.